59 in our poker moments from the Poker Nations Cup number three. And this is a lineup, of course. Uh, what did you talk about? One player what did you talk from about? each of six nations in this tournament, only five remain. William Thorson, Maybe who's more uh, interesting. has had quite a run years ago on the European scene, still well known as a high stakes player. Yeah, he's still kicking around, making a living from the game. Pass. Beavers, the ultimate grinder. And, uh, this was Andreas Kraus, who's uh, he was he was kind of the leader of the German German side. Thorson's actually for a young guy. He's been around a lot. I mean, he was I think he turned 18 when they when they uh, started poker on the internet, and he was he was there from day one. And uh, yeah, I can remember watching him from when I first started. Uh, getting into poker. He was on the TV almost every week. A bunch of deep Check. runs in the World Series and that sort of thing. I haven't seen him for a couple of years, actually, but... Yeah, um, I think he settled down with a family and that sort of thing. Um, but he, he is the kind of guy who's uh, sort of like an original, uh, you know, you can't get me off a hand. Yeah. He's <laughs> <laughs> just going to war with the 9-4. And the, the Dutchman knows it, I guess. What makes Thorson world class, Sam, is that you can't just get him off a pot with one move, even if he's got nothing. Yeah, you've got to give him three. <laughs> Probably <laughs> he's one of those guys, he's sticky in position. It's always nice watching two players with nothing, isn't it? To see, you know, see who wins the pot and who goes for it. Raise to 55. And this is a check raise now from the Dutchman. <laughs> of course, it's just oh, having none of it. <laughs> and these guys, now, they all, uh, of course, from the green room, they could see the cards live. So, I mean, who's more mystified right now, the Dutch team or the Swedish team? Well, the Swedish team know that Thorsen's a nutcase. But uh, <laughs> I, I wonder if Marcel Lusk is just finding out about Rudder. <laughs> They must have been on some next level. They've both been playing a lot of hands for them to just to go to war like this. <laughs> there was a, I, of course, was watching most of this tournament from the green room, and I was helping uh, manage the book with Tarek Parkinson and Scott Gray. We, 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 we did our, our conquers, of course, but uh, there was so much money riding on all these heats with all the teams coming in. I mean, we had like four currencies because Robert Williamson the third wanted to bet in dollars, and, <laughs> you know, the Swedes were betting in euros, and... Uh, of course, Neil Channing had come up with the pounds, and it was madness. Yeah. Look, I love the way Thorson's played this hand. But just to just to peel off the turn, just to bet, and then he got check raised, and then he called. It's just going to be really hard for you know, Thorson to bluff again oh, once, once you've bet and then call a raise on that flop. Right, and really, if unless Rudders had had a set or has made a full house at this stage, he really can't have anything. Yeah, he? it doesn't make much sense, but it's nice to see it okay, makes guys, like that. So there's people a break. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.